My story is I'm a Pennsylvania State Trooper and I was wounded in uh, 2014. Uh, I was shot through my back and it came out through my right leg and I had severe nerve damage so I had to have my leg amputated below my knee. Um, so <clears throat> uh, this company called Valor Service Dogs uh, just south of Tampa, Florida reached out to my, myself and my family and said, would you guys like a service dog? We provide service dogs to uh, veterans and uh, first responders, which I never heard of before because a lot of companies just give dogs out to the veterans. This company did veterans and first responders. So we were actually the first family to receive a service dog from Valor Service Dogs uh, as a law enforcement family. So they uh, ended up training this dog, which is Peter, and um, he's been with us. He's going to be six years old in May. And he's, uh, he's been with us for about, uh, probably about five, uh, four and a half years now. Uh, takes about a year and a half to train them to two years. And um, a little backstory, the uh, husband and wife that owned our nonprofit Valor Service Dogs, uh, the husband uh, was wounded overseas in a war and he's above the knee amputee and he was uh, taken to Walter Reed Hospital where he received the service dog from Walter Reed and his wife was a nurse there and um, they both uh, connected and got married and she said this is what I want to do is raise service dogs and start a nonprofit. So uh, I believe we're over 20 dogs like that we gave out to recipients and um, like I said, I was the first family of the law enforcement family to do that. And I don't know any other organization that does that, veterans and first responders, because now, I mean, first responders are interacting a lot with a lot of stress and everything like that. Uh, Peter's considered a mobility support dog. So he's trained to open handicapped doors, like uh, the buttons for the handicapped, he, he can go up and hit them with his nose. And um, if I don't have my leg on um, and I need like a remote or a, my phone is over on a counter, I could just point to it and say retrieve it and he'll, he'll bring it to me. So that he's very well trained and he's also trained for PTSD and all that. So uh, they kind of train the dogs to a specific need of whoever that recipient may be.